Hi, this is Carl with another SOP video for any service providers, and today I want to talk about the service manager's roles and responsibilities. Now, the service manager, when it's time to hire one, will be one of the single most important positions in your company. And in most MSP organizations, the service manager is really the number two person in the entire organization. So you have to really find somebody with some great skills. And as we'll see as we go through their processes and procedures, they have a lot of responsibility. So you got to make sure that you've got somebody who can deal with clients, deal with you, <laughs> deal, deal with your internal admin, deal with your office manager, deal with your technicians, can be a babysitter, can be somebody who can hold somebody's hand, do some training, uh, get rough when it's time to make sure that the time cards get in on time. And, you know, there's just a wide variety of skills that are required for a good service manager. At the highest level, service managers have to make sure that you have a profitable service department. Yes, you have to deliver good service. That's a given. But the service manager has to make sure that it's profitable. So that means they have to make sure that technicians put all of their time into the system. They have to make sure that everybody follows the processes and procedures. They have to make sure that the clients are very, very happy. So at the highest level, they have to set goals for the technicians. They have to write out those goals and they have to evaluate them at the end of the quarter. And they have to be able to do this while managing the rest of the department. So those goals aren't a thing that you just do and then you ignore for three months and then you evaluate. Now the goal means it's something that you set out there and then you proceed to push it and push it and push it every single day while you're doing everything else. On a weekly basis, service managers have to make sure that the scheduling is done, that they know, you know how many hours every person is going to work Make sure they know what the most important tasks are, manage the technicians. They probably have at least one meeting during the week to get the team organized. They have to make sure that they manage payroll. So everybody needs to have a budget. They have to make sure that they don't overspend this budget and they have to make sure that they get as much labor and productivity in as they can. On a daily basis, the service manager is going to monitor the service board, they're going to know how many tickets are in the system. They, they're going to know where every technician is. They're going to have good communications with the front office. They're going to be in charge of making sure that SOPs get followed. They're going to make sure that they track all of the billable hours that they can. They have to make sure that they've got good customer service relationships. Whenever any technician's got a problem, their first call is going to be to the service manager, either for assistance to push something up to a higher level of support or to help out with a technical problem or a client relationship problem. The service manager also has to be a mentor. So they have to be somebody who's got at least enough skills to be able to help people get to be better at their jobs, even if they're not as technical as some of their own employees. You know, the service manager doesn't have to be the most technical person in the office just as the owner doesn't have to be the most technical person in the office. But they do have to be good at technology generally and they have to know how to ask the right questions and point people in the right direction. Mentoring involves a lot more than simply being good at technology. Service manager needs to coordinate schedules every day. They need to manage technicians every day. They need to manage the service requests or the tickets that are coming into the system and they need to make sure that all the priorities are straight and that the tools, your PSA, your service board, are being used the way they're supposed to be. And that way they make sure that your company stays profitable. And finally, they got to manage the backlog because no matter what you do, there's going to be a backlog. If you eliminate the backlog, well then you go out of business because you don't have any work to do. So. They have to have this great balance of talents and skills and abilities. And so work very hard to make sure that you get the right service manager. It is worth spending extra time getting someone like SPC International or somebody else to help you hire the right person. It may be the single most important hire you make in your company. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Polichuk wishing you the best of luck in your managed service business. If you like this video, click like.
Don't forget to share on social media and absolutely subscribe to the channel.